It has been five days since a Jacksonville man was shot and killed in the parking lot of Nipper's restaurant. Tonight we're learning a possible reason as to why the shooter hasn't been charged or even identified. A local lawyer says that it's likely state attorneys are trying to determine if the shooting was justifiable. Witnesses tell News for Jacks that Zachariah Tipton was involved in a violent fight seconds before he was shot and killed. Tariq Miner picks up the story from there. Detectives here at the Jacksonville Beach Police Department say they're waiting on state attorneys to determine whether or not the person involved in the shooting at Nippers last week will be charged. We spoke to an attorney who says that all indications point to a justifiable homicide investigation. It happened in front of hundreds of people, according to police. Shots fired outside the Nippers restaurant, leading to the death of 40-year-old Zachariah Tipton, who had been involved in a fight. Witnesses say the shooter surrendered immediately, but police haven't charged him yet. Attorney Gene Nichols says the shooter likely was questioned and released, while state attorneys determine if he fired in self-defense. If the state attorney's office believes that the shooter acted in some justifiable form, then they're not going to be taken into custody either. If they're not arrested that night, if there's not a determination with the police and the state attorney's office that they should be arrested immediately because of that crime, then they're probably not going to be arrested until they have a warrant issued by a judge. Jacksonville Beach detectives say they are interviewing more than 200 witnesses. And according to Nichols, the state attorney's office is likely talking to those witnesses too. What they don't want to do is have different entities interviewing every witness. We've seen this in other cases before, which is what causes crime. It, we saw this in the Zimmerman case, where we had four or five different law enforcement agencies come in, interview these witnesses, and after time, slight changes are in each one of the stories. Nichols says it could be weeks or even months until state attorneys rule. We checked and found several other justifiable homicide cases, which also took months to complete. It took state attorneys eight months to clear Janine Peterson in the death of her ex-boyfriend, who she shot and killed as he tried to hit her with his car. And it took seven months to clear Juan Cintron in the shooting of Everett Douglas. In both cases, the names of the shooters weren't revealed until the final report was issued. This is the process, and you're not going to hear too much about this until they have made a decision. The state attorney's office also refused to comment on this investigation. In Jacksonville Beach, I'm Tariq Minor, Channel 4, the local station.